Hi there, Dave Dubow, your host for Canadian Profits TV. Welcome to this week's episode. Just wrapped up recently, uh, attendance at the latest Fast Track weekend event, the one and only one for 2011 in lovely Edmonton, Alberta. So hopefully we'll have some clips or some pictures of that for you at the end of this week's video. What are we going to be talking about this week? Well, for our business breakthrough, I'm going to be talking about what you should never, ever, ever, ever delegate. Did I say never, ever? Yeah. Never, ever, ever delegate. For our real estate tips, I've got a good friend of mine coming in, Bruce Hinton. We're going to be talking about sweet deals. And for our mindset minute, I'm going to be talking about just saying no. So stay tuned. All right, so our break business breakthrough this week is all about what not to delegate. And these ideas I got from one of my big mentors right over here, Dan Kennedy. And the two things that Dan Kennedy says you should never ever delegate, which I agree with, are number one, your marketing, and number two, signing the checks. The only way you can delegate those is once you can become a huge company. But until then, never ever delegate marketing or the signing the checks part of your business. Now for marketing, why don't you want to delegate that? You can delegate certain tasks, that's for sure, but you should be in charge of the overall marketing ideas, the marketing program, the marketing plan, and you should be very, very involved with making sure that it's getting done and getting done the way you want it to, to be done. You don't necessarily have to do all the nitty gritty stuff or do the copywriting, but you should be up to speed on what it's going to look like and what uh, your goals and, and what you're trying to accomplish with it, as well as tracking and measuring the results. Now for your accounting, how many times have we heard about the bookkeeper absconding with all the money? Happens over and over and over and over again, especially with small businesses. So never completely rely on your book, bookkeeper, might be the nicest person in the world, but you can never completely trust that person. So always be the person that is signing the checks for your business. That's your business breakthrough for this week. All right, well, welcome back. We're here with this week's real estate tip. I'm here with my good friend and professional real estate investor of over 20 years, Bruce Hinton. How are you doing today, Bruce? Doing well, Dave. Thank you. Great. So Bruce's claim to fame and his focus when it comes to real estate investing is on working with properties that he can create suites in. So tell us a little bit about that, Bruce, and why do you like to focus on that? Well, what we'd like to do is maximize the cash flow uh, so that the property obviously pays for itself. And to do that, we maximize the rental income by putting in secondary suites, renting out garages separately, things like that. Right, so it's very, very difficult to make a, a traditional single family home cash flow, especially here in Kamloops, well, most major centers. The price of the homes is so high that the rent you get from it is very, very difficult to get that to even cover your mortgage expenses a lot of the time. So by putting a suite in a property like that, a, a traditional single family home, he actually creates two to three different rental units from one property, right? Exactly. So, um, so tell us a little bit about the kind of houses that you're looking for to do this with. Well, we look for a few things. Uh, neighborhood is obviously important. Um, proximity to public transit because a lot of renters take public transit and square footage so we need the maximum rentable square footage exactly and you're saying you do a few different things so it's not just creating suites you're looking at all sorts of different ways to maximize the revenue on a property like renting out the garage what, uh, what do you mean by that how do you do that well what we do storage is big uh, big business it's, it's profitable so what we do is we rent out the garage separately if it's a detached garage Attached garages, you obviously have to rent it with one of the suites. Uh, but uh, detached garage, we usually rent it separately for storage, and that'll bring in a few, an extra few hundred dollars to the monthly cash flow. That's excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much, Bruce. And what we'll have, what we'll do is we have Bruce come back for next week's episode as well to talk about um, kind of crunching the numbers and how much it costs to put in a suite and how that affects the cash flow and the profitability and the value of the home. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Thanks, Dave. All right, for this week's Mindset Minute, I want to talk about just saying no. A lot of us have a lot of trouble 
uh, telling people no. I know I've got a, a challenge doing that sometimes, but the more I do that, the more I'm able to focus on what's really important for me and really important for my business and for my investing uh, focus. So again, you have to be very, very clear on what your own goals are and you have to be willing to tell other people that no, you can't commit to what they want you to do. So again, it's not about a matter of being rude. It's not a matter of being nasty. You can say no in a very polite way. Just make sure it's firm. You don't really even have to explain yourself. If somebody asks you to do something that you really don't feel like doing, just politely say, no thanks, I've got other plans. That'll go a long way towards accomplishing your own goals and getting what you want out of life. That's your mindset minute. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in to this week's episode of Canadian Profits TV. We love getting your feedback, love getting your comments and your questions. Remember, if we answer one of your questions on the show, you get a free prize. So go ahead and, go ahead and send them in. Uh, the email address for that is marketing at canadianprofits.ca. should be along the bottom of the screen as well. And I uh, just want to remind you that this week's episode is brought to you by a replay of the webinar I put on recently with Ken Beaton. Uh, single family versus multifamily investing, the pros and the cons. You can check that out at canadianprofitstraining.com and watch the replay there. You can also find out about the upcoming uh, multifamily investing and property management boot camp that we're holding in Edmonton in July. Uh, what else is going on? Check out our special offer to become a Diamond member this month. We've got some smoking deals, some mo smoking opportunities there for you to do that. You can check that out at canadianprofitsdiamond.ca. Now, what's up for next week? Well, for our business breakthrough, we're going to be talking about managing your cash flow. For our real estate tips, we're going to be getting back with our friend Bruce Hinton and talking about uh, more sweet deals. And for our Mindset Minute, we're going to be talking about the myth of the easy button. Have a great week and see you next time. Bye-bye. Here we are playing the game. You guys having fun yet? Oh, yeah. Anybody out of the rat race yet? No. No. Working on it. All right. So you can roll two times. Here we are at the Fast Track Weekend. Almost 400 people playing cash flow games as far as the eye can see. Oh, there's Ed Gilmore. Awesome. So here we are. How are you doing there, Robbie? Right. Cheers. Cheers. Big Bob, how are you doing? Are we supposed to hide the beer? Sorry about that. No, Just no, don't hide the beer. Be loud, be proud. Ed, how are you doing? I like those suspenders. Okay, here's the best looking table in the batch. All right. Well, no, not you, Rob. <laughs> not you either, Ken. We no offense, happy. Jason, you neither. Okay, the two best-looking women. Here we go. There we go. Well, I... No, I don't. No, I don't.